Hey guys, it's Jackie. I have a goose, if I could only talk, a Goose Creek candle haul for you. So uh, my stepmom and I had a couple of text messages going back and forth and they had gotten some Goose Creek candles last week and then I said, hey, my order's out and she said, mine is too. And I'm like, oh my God, did you order more? Because they had a really good sale. And what I was interested in, I enjoyed some of their wax tarts that I've showed you guys like for the hauls and then the post burn review. But I wanted to get some of their three wick candles to see how they performed. And they had super cute pumpkin styled ones. So shout out to Lauren from the love of, I saw her video and her Instagram post and I'm like, oh my God, I want to try some of those. And I think if I'm not mistaken, there was a coupon code, um, I believe. So I got home today and the box was on my porch. I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support here on YouTube. You guys are amazing. I really, really appreciate you. Um, I did just unbox my first luxury bag and a couple of comments, even on my Instagram and in the video, they're like, oh my God, YouTube must be great. And I am full transparency. I did get my first check from YouTube, which was $262, which I am so grateful for. Um, a couple of YouTubers are very quiet about what they make. I'm not. Um, I'm very open and honest with you guys. I want you to know exactly what you're getting if you start a YouTube channel. Um, and with my 1400 and some subscribers and how much watch hours, that was my first check. I don't know exactly the time frame for that check. Um, so, but I'll just keep telling you guys. Um, uh, but YouTube did not buy my Louis Vuitton. My husband did just as a full disclaimer. I did say that at the end. It was a gift from Joe. Um, there was something I was going to say along the lines of YouTube. I don't know. I have been consistent one year today. So on September 25th is my consistent YouTube posting. So I'm very proud of myself that I have made it one year. And um, a year ago today, I had 155 subscribers. And today, at the time of filming this, I have 1,486 of you guys. You guys are amazing. You mean so much to me. You have no idea. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So let's get unboxing my Goose Creek. I have some Scentsy coming. I don't know when. I see everybody else doing their scent and warmer of the month. So uh, once I get it, I will film it for you guys. Um, I did place an order for the Darth Vader warmer. So I'll show you that when I get it as well with Scentsy. But I should have opened this before I started filming. This box is ginormous, but I realized that the candles I ordered were 22 ounces. So I kind of figured that this was going to be ginormous. And I don't know if he's going to stop barking. So if I have to pause this, oh my God, these are packed really well, which I'm glad about. So this first one that I'm pulling out is like a Bath and Body Works candle. It's exactly the shape and container for that and this one is carnival apple i have not smelled any of these you just heard me open the box um it's being described as the scent notes are not here on the bottom i should have looked that up so i'll give you jackie scent notes goose creek is a michigan company or michigan a u.s company this is 14.5 ounces so it's the same as a um Bath and Body Works. I was looking to see if there's anything. Ooh, and you guys look how pretty the pictures are. That's what I love about Goose Creek, their photos. I don't know if he's going to stop barking. Three wicks looks exactly like if you turn it like this, looks just like a Bath and Body Works candle. And you guys, this smell, oh, it's soft wax. This smells like a caramel apple with the nuts on it. I'm going to have to pause you because I don't know why he's barking. Give me one. I realize that he's a dog and dogs are going to bark, but it's so freaking annoying when he's barking in the background. Anyway, so this says Goose Creek there on the top. Oh, you can see yourselves. Carnival Apple. It's in that really green, pretty wax. And this smells really good. I would say it has notes of caramel apple, but the apple is not the top note. It's probably the mid. I smell more caramel and like a nutty note. So what I'll do is I will screenshot the 
uh, scent notes that Goose Creek describes them. And then when I have a post burn review, hopefully I'll remember to include that in my video. So this is the first one that I got. And it's the only 14.5 that I had received or ordered. And then the pumpkins have come in this container. I don't see my invoice. So I apologize. I don't remember how much I paid for these. And I don't remember if I got a discount. Um, while he was parking, I should have opened this. But I was excited because my stepmom and dad have said how wonderful their candles have been. And the first one I'm pulling out, oh my God, so cute, is Blueberry Pumpkin. So there's that, and I think the lids, yes, yeah, so the lids are packaged separately. Um... I don't know if it matters which lid is what, but you guys, look how cute that is. So that is purple because it is a blueberry pumpkin. Oh, that smells good. It's very blueberry. Um, yeah, blueberry pumpkin. It's got three wicks. It's not super strong. It's a very sugary blueberry. I don't smell a lot of pumpkin. I smell more blueberry. So that is the first one. Oh, and it's, I think I already said 22 ounces. Yeah, they're 22 ounces. They're all made in Kentucky. But look how cute that is to take us into the fall season. So that is the first one. The second one is a pumpkin colored. So all of the lids are packaged separately, which is really nice because then, you know, they're not going to break in transit. So the second one, and the wicks are pretty thick. I don't know if you guys can see how thick the wicks are. This one is Pumpkin Cake Pop. I don't know what it smells like. So there is that. Oh. Pumpkin Cake Pop. It's an orangish peach color. And it smells like cake. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I think my lighting is kind of wonky. I'm going to get the new um, phone, the i11, iPhone 11. Um, so hopefully, because I am filming it on an iPhone 7 Plus. Um, but I'm not sure. I guess that helps a little bit. Sorry, folks. Uh, 22 ounces. Really, really pretty. It smells like cake. And the wax is really soft. I apologize. I do not understand why I look so washed out all of a sudden in my filming. I apologize. So here is this one. Oh, you know what? That's a little better. Anyways, we'll get it figured out. And then the third one, they, they package these really safely. What's weird is the glass on the lids feels kind of, um, I wonder if that'll help. Sorry, folks. It feels really thin, like Dollar Tree glass. Does that make sense to anybody? One moment. This is bothering That's a little bit better. I promise I'll figure this out. I am so sorry. But the third one that I got is a vanilla pumpkin waffle. So it is white wax. It has the lid. The lids feel very cheap to me. That's not saying anything against... It smells like pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath & Body Works. This might be the first one I burn. And the wicks are really, really nice. You can see it's full all the way to the top. These are all 22 ounces. So I am excited to burn these. So like I said, um, I don't remember how much I paid for these. I had a coupon code. Um, and so I wanted to try them because I have enjoyed their wax melts. So I wanted to see how their candles did in these three wick forms. So 
Um, we are going to dinner tonight, so I don't know if I'll light one before I leave or not, but I will get back with you guys to let you know how I like them. So I got the three different scents. I thought they would be really, really nice. You know, I'm kind of familiar with them. So to get an idea for their candles, and then I'll have to ask my parents how they like their Goose Creek candles. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're having a great start to your fall. I hope you guys are doing something good for yourself. I have to remind myself that every single day to be kind, be kind to myself, be kind to others. But I just wanted to thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey. I've been off and on on YouTube for a while, but consistent for the last year. And you guys are amazing. Um, and I kind of started early summer last year, but I really started paying attention in the fall. So I really appreciate you guys. I consider you friends and family. I know that sounds so cliche, but the people I follow... I feel the same way like when I respond to them and they respond back to me. It always makes me feel super, super heard. And I want you guys to feel the same way on my channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great night and I will talk to you soon. Bye!